Up-tempo swing is always a challenge, whether it's big band or small group. For up-tempo swing, oftentimes drummers get a little uh, freaked out by it because it's so fast and their ride beat tends to get uh, very stiff. So instead of dotted eighth sixteenth, which is the way it's generally written in a drum part, we might want to interpret it more like quarter note, eighth note, eighth note, quarter note. So instead of this, we might want to have something that's flattened out that is more relaxed and it flows better, sounding more like this. So what's going to drive this song is of course the ride cymbal and your ride cymbal beat interpretation. There are a few relationships that are really important in this style. One relationship, of course, is the bass and drums. They have to really be locked in. So Connor and I are just going to play a little bit together to make sure that that's happening. One. Another relationship that is often overlooked is the piano drum relationship. If the piano player's comping is not on the same page as the drummer or vice versa, it's really not going to work very well. So they really must understand each other's comping style. So Alex and I are going to play a little bit. And um, Alex, just kind of do your own thing, and I'll do my own thing. And then we'll stop and then bring it together, OK? So kind of don't listen and do automatic pilot. One, two, one, two, three. So that's not going to help the soloist or the band. So now we're going to really listen to one another and try to figure out where his accents are, and he's going to do the same for me. And we're going to try to do a lot of anticipations of the beat, because that gives the music forward momentum. And that's really what we need for an up-tempo song. Let's listen now. One, two, one, two, three. Kevin, can you give us an example of comping at this tempo? And of course, you're going to hear not a lot of bass notes or a lot of low strings. You're going to hear pretty tight little three note voicings and some real compact rhythms, again, focusing on anticipation of the beat. Kevin? One other relationship that has to be mentioned is the drums and the soloist, whether it be up-tempo swing or medium swing or any style, really. There has to be some point where the soloist and the drummer really get on the same page. We'd like to do a little exercise here with our soloist, John, and uh, again, see if we're using the same vocabulary and the same phrasing. So, uh, John? One, two, one, two, three. Thank <laughs> you. 
This kind of practice will help the drummer hear the phrasing and hear the chords from the soloist. It'll help the soloist hear the time much better and to really get a, a much closer understanding of the phrasing of the drummer. So this kind of workout or practice is really necessary. So let's hear the whole band and we're going to play just a little up-tempo excerpt for you. Here we go. One, two, one, two, one, two, three. Thank <laughs> you. 